हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डेरी सतीश मंचकड़ा एंड हेयर आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द केस स्टडी ऑफ इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट एंड माई केस इज कुशल राव वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ बॉम्बे माई केस इज रिलेटिंग टू द डाइंग डिक्लेरेशन एंड डाइंग डिक्लेरेशन इज गिवन अंडर सेक्शन थर्टी टू ऑफ इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट डाइंग डिक्लेरेशन इज नथिंग बट द ओपिनियन ऑफ डिसीज पर्सन अबाउट हिज डेथ काउज ऑफ हिज डेथ और सरकमस्टांसेस बिहेंड हिज डेथ so let's discuss about the facts of this case and facts is nothing but the deceased person made four separate and identical declarations before doctor police inspector magistrate and two other persons stating that he has been assaulted by kushal and one another person some high courts lays down or gives their opinion about the dying declaration these are as following Uh, Bombay High Court says that the uh, it is one kind of weak evidence. Then Kolkata High Court says that the uh, it is not permissible to accept a declaration in one part and reject the other part. Then Madras High Court says that the uh, it is depend upon court conceived and not suspicious one. These are some views of the some high courts. And lastly, Supreme Court lays down some guidelines regarding to the dying declaration, and these are as following. uh no absolute rule of law then fact and circumstances then no weaker evidence then competent magistrate and lastly true voluntary and in the form of question and answer these are the guidelines laid down by the supreme court regarding to the dying declaration lastly judgment of this case is the court held that the statement of the deceased satisfied all these conditions and therefore the appellant should be convicted here i conclude my case thank you thank you very much